Hi, I'm Pam and I'm here to talk about retro video games. Today I'm going back to the NES and playing one of the games that I had as a kid. It was not one of my favorites then, but let's see how it holds up now. It's Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia was developed by Broderbund and originally released for the Apple II in 1989. It was ported to the NES by Virgin in 1992. The story isn't mentioned at all in-game, but from the manual, the wizard Jafar has seized power from the Sultan and forces the Sultan's daughter to marry him or die. The game's protagonist is thrown into the dungeon and has one hour to escape and rescue the princess. When you start out in the dungeon, you have nothing. No weapons, no real idea where to go, and one of the first things you need to do is find a sword so you can take on any of the guards who are scattered across the levels. I always found this game really difficult when I played as a kid, and I don't think I ever got past the first level or two. Playing it through now, I did get much further, but the game's shortcomings are still pretty hard to get past. The most glaring issue is the movement and controls. Moving using the D-pad results in your character taking great leaping strides, and when you let go of the button, he doesn't stop immediately. The platforming in this game requires a lot of precision, and the default movement is the opposite of precise. There's a second kind of movement, with B, that slows things right down. This can be used to slide past spikes without them hurting you, or to get to the edge of a platform in order to make a long jump. The jump controls are also a little weird and take some getting used to. Pressing A causes you to jump forward, even from a standstill. If you want to jump straight up, you have to press up on the D-pad, though there's also a little forward momentum to this. If you want to do a running jump, the manual instructs you that you need to back up at least two full strides from the edge you want to jump from. I've honestly never had such a problem performing a running jump in a game. It was maddening. Alright, run and jump. Let's try again. Run. Jump! Run and jump. Have a good feeling about this one. Run. Fall. I'm not new to platforming, I don't understand what it is about this control scheme that makes it so difficult to jump while running. The levels aren't very large, but they also aren't linear. There are dead ends, traps, and the exit door has to be unlocked by stepping on a pressure plate somewhere in the level. It can be frustrating to reach the exit and find you need to backtrack to find the plate that opens the door. There are 12 levels in the game and you have 60 minutes to get through them all, so 5 minutes a level. While the game certainly can be completed in that time, half that even, it does require some memorization as time can easily tick away as you have to backtrack or restart the level because the controls suck and you can't run and jump over a ledge. Prince of Persia is a game that got ported to a ton of different systems, and by all accounts, the NES port is not one of the better ones. It's not terribly surprising, given the limitations of the hardware, but most aspects of the game leave something to be desired, and the story bits which are featured in other versions are totally absent here. 
The game isn't just platforming, there's also some sword fighting required when you run into guards. This consists of attacking and blocking. For the most part, it was just a matter of spamming attack before your opponent has a chance to hit you. Outside of the gameplay, the game aesthetics don't add a whole lot. The music is repetitive and gets grating after a while. There is at least an option to turn it off. The sound effects are clunky, especially when you do things like run into walls, which you'll probably do quite a lot. Visually, things get very redundant. Though the character models look pretty good, the dungeon background gets boring real quick. There are purple dungeon levels, and orange dungeon levels, and that's about it. Overall, Prince of Persia on the NES is disappointing, and I didn't like it any more now than I did as a kid. The unresponsive controls are infuriating, and the movement is jarring and unprecise when you need the exact opposite to get through levels. It's not a game I'll be going back to anytime soon. If you're looking for a copy yourself, the cart does sell for about $15 loose, but I'd skip this one. If you want to let me know your thoughts on Prince of Persia, let me know in the comments. And as always, likes and shares are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.